Hi there. One of my favorite things, pruning back some beautiful trees that are in our yard so that they look less crazy. So you'll see I've got a lilac bush here and then I've got a snowball tree here. They're both beautiful, but they're growing together and they're getting crazy. So I need to just trim them down so that they are, you know, less crazy. So the first thing you need is a good pair of shears. Now, this is embarrassing because these are rusty and did I take care of them? No, I didn't, not at all. You cannot treat your tools like this. You cannot be like me and treat your tools like this. This is, this is awful. We, right down the street, it takes me 30 seconds to get there, literally. You know, unless the light is red, then maybe 45 seconds, but right down the street we have a beautiful home hardware store that does all your tools they sharpen them they get them into shape so what is the reason for a tool that looks like this irresponsible behavior right irresponsible there is no reason for this so this season i am going to be a good girl and i'm going to bring all my tools in to get them serviced because that's Another one, well, it's not my favorite thing because I don't do it. So how can I say it's my favorite thing to, well, it is my favorite thing to have good tools, but I just don't do it. So I need to be better. And then I can say to you, one of my favorite things, getting my tools done. But I can't say that right now because look at this, not good, but it's still working. Today, do I want to go 30 seconds down the road? No, I want to prune my trees. And this is where the problem starts, okay? So lilac and snowball tree, absolutely beautiful. I'll show them to you in the spring. The, the snowball tree gets these little white balls on it. And the lilac tree is a beautiful purple. Okay, lilacs, I have to talk about lilacs. They smell, okay, one of my favorite smells, a lilac, lilac tree. So. I like to cut them and bring them in the house because that's also another one of my favorite things, having some of your flowers in the house. But lilacs don't last long. They last maybe two days, but really they're worth it because they, they fill the house with this beautiful scent. Even my husband, when he comes home from a long day at work, he goes, you know what, hon? I don't know what you do, but the house just smells so beautiful. I just say thank you. I'm not telling him it's the lilacs. Well, he already knows. And he likes he likes fresh flowers on the on the counter too. So when you come in the door, that's the first thing you see is fresh flowers. And lilacs truly are amazing. Or if you want to get creative, put some snowball and the lilacs together. So okay, but we're talking about pruning right now. I got sidetracked. So pruning is one of my favorite things because these bushes are getting out of control and it's just like getting a haircut your plants need a haircut their hair is all over it's like your covid hair right remember our covid hair we all had our hair in a ponytail because that's all we could do because there were no hairdressers around these these bushes have covid hair so i'm going to prune them so again you need a good pair of pruning shears that look a lot better than this and I like these long ones because you'll see when I'm pruning, they get a lot and you can shape better. If you have the short ones, you can't really shape better. These are great, these long ones. So you need a good pair of pruning shears and you just need to get rid of, okay, let me bring you closer now. You're gonna get wobbly. Okay, so you can see better. You're a little bit crooked, but seriously, at this point, okay, who cares, right? It's just me and you. Okay, so what you want to do is you don't have to be afraid of pruning. It's not going to hurt the, hurt the plant. All you're doing is shaping it. So we're going to shape this little lilac tree first. So I'm going to get in there and just take off all the unruly parts of it. So you can just go for it. Let everything fall and you'll sweep it away later, okay? Can you see what I'm doing? And that's how you're shaping it. So you can see over here that it's very unruly. So I'm going to 
give my snowball tree more room and take these branches off. You can see here it needs some good shaping. You know, and you can see, you can see where it needs to be done. You don't have to be a professional, you can just see it. So this I'm going to shape a little bit more because it's growing right into my snowball tree. And I also went, want to get on the top because you can see where it's getting very unruly up here. So I do want to get in there. Now, if my shears were sharp and taken care of, I wouldn't be going like this. I would just go like this. So, right? Just, yeah. Don't be like me. Get things done. So, shake the top. And again, I'm not worrying about where I'm cutting. I'm just shaping it. The tree is just fine. It's getting a little haircut. Now at the top, I want to take this and just throw it down there. Maybe I should put you on a close-up so that you can see. No? Yes? Okay, I'm going to move you again. Okay, my tripod gro broke again. <sighs> I'm having tripod issues. So I'm going to get up here and just prune away all these excess little things. Now I'll bring you down here and you can see where it's very unruly here. So I'm going to get rid of this. And that's it. That's how you prune a tree. You don't have to be fancy. Just give it a nice haircut. So I just want to say thank you for subscribing to Nana the Glam Gardener. I love it. Having so much fun with all of you. And thank you for viewing my videos and sharing them with your friends. And you have a good day.